This is a sunnah to This is a sunnah to This is a sunnah to الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Welcome viewers to another episode of our program This is a Sunnah too And in this program of ours we are endeavoring to mention those Sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم which have either been forgotten or right from the beginning people are unaware and unfamiliar that they are in fact sunnahs of the best of creation alayhi salatu wassalam and in this episode too we are going to mention another one of those sunnahs so today the sunnah that i would like to cover is giving a gift yes giving a gift is a sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in another episode it was mentioned that receiving a gift is also a sunnah of the prophet alayhi sallam but giving a gift is also from the sunnah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would gift so many people things which were in accordance to their need subhanallah that is the wise thing about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's gifting he wouldn't just pick up any item and give it he would look at the need of a person and we should do so as well when giving gifts so allama abdul haq muhaddith dehlawi rahimahullah ta'ala he states that when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would see a needy person for example he would even pick up his own food and drink and gift it to that needy person meaning he would give his own food his own drink to that person subhanallah this was the manner of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he needed it himself but he would give it to someone else and his ata his gifting his bestowal would be of many kinds to some he would give a gift to others he would fulfill their right to another he would remove his burden of debt and that's how he would gift him things to others he would give sadaqa charity sometimes the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would purchase clothing he would select clothing give the the amount that is owed for that clothing and then gift the clothing back to the shopkeeper to the owner in the first owner the one who sold it in the first place sometimes the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would take a loan and when repaying it he would give an extra amount he would gift an extra amount subhanallah of his own will sometimes the prophet alaihi wasallam would purchase clothing and give more than the actual amount that was owed so the cost of the item he would give more subhanallah sometimes the prophet alaihi wasallam would receive a gift and in return would give greater gifts subhanallah this was the way of the the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so let us listen to some ahadith in this regard ata khurasani radiyallahu an narrates that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said shake hands this removes malice enmity and give gifts you should give gifts this increases love and removes hatred this is something that we should ponder upon today if we fell out with someone if we don't meet eye to eye with someone we may have malice in the heart for someone give gifts when you give gifts what did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advise that gifting gifting things to each other will remove malice from your hearts it will increase love and so will shaking hands as well shaking hands does what it removes hatred In another narration the prophet ali sallam said give gifts to one another your love between each other will increase love will increase between you now today when we look at our society we look at the problems we're facing people are distancing themselves from others there's no harmony it seems there's enmity there's hatred oppression rights are not being fulfilled so many things are happening but here the prophet ali sallam said if you want to increase love then give gifts to one another and we should do so sayyiduna abdullah bin abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma narrates the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam whenever he would intend to give a gift to someone he would 
provide zamzam water to him for drinking. In another narration, Sayyiduna Ata bin Yasar radiyallahu ta'ala and narrates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sent a gift to Sayyiduna Umar bin Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala and Sayyiduna Umar radiyallahu an returned it. He returned the gift back to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, why did you return the gift? Sayyiduna Umar radiyallahu an said, Ya Rasulullah, you said to us, meaning he was recalling a previous hadith of the Prophet alayhi sallam, a previous saying and statement. That, ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you said to us, you said, it is better for us to not take anything from anyone. The Prophet ﷺ replied, that was in relation to begging or asking. And whatever you receive without asking, that is risk, that is sustenance, which Allah Ta'ala has given you. Allah Ta'ala has granted. So Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anh said, by the one in whose power my soul lies, I will never ask for anything from anyone. And if I receive anything without asking for it, I will accept it. Subhanallah, look at this. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anh, he thought, he assumed that a previous saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not allow him to accept that gift. But when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained and said that statement that I mentioned before, that was in relation to asking yourself or begging yourself, give me this. That there you shouldn't take anything from anyone. Obviously we know, and this is not the maqam to go into tafsil detail but there are certain cases where a person is allowed to beg and ask but that is only if you meet a certain criteria you don't have anything at all you need it to save your life etc but not for everyone it's not permissible for everyone to ask and that's what the prophet Ali was referring to and as for if you receive a gift from someone without you asking for it consider this as rizq from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you should accept it and then sayyidun umar radiallahu anh said yes by allah after this, I will not ask for anything from anyone, not that he used to. And secondly, if I receive anything without asking, I will gladly accept it. Subhanallah. Because it's a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Now once a delegation came to the court of the Prophet alayhi wa and it's referred to as the waft of Bani Murra. Now in this delegation, there were 13 people who came to Madinatul Munawwara. And the leader, he was known as Harith bin Auf. He was also amongst them in this delegation. They all accepted Islam in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. And then they complained of famine, qahat, and requested the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to pray for them, a merciful prayer. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed for them. Oh Allah, satiate them with rain. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam gave a command to Sayyiduna Bilal radiyallahu ta'ala. What was the command? Give 10 awqiyah. Awqiyah is a particular amount measurement. Give 10 awqiyah of silver and 400 dirhams to each of them. Meaning as a gift from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So each of those 13 people were gifted what? 10 awqiyah of silver. And 400 dirhams each, subhanallah. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he gave a special gift to the leader, Harith bin Auf. It stated that to Harith bin Auf, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa gave 12 awqiyah of silver as a gift from the prophetic court. Because he was the leader. So look at this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would gift things to people. And he wouldn't gift small amounts, subhanallah, he was the most generous in creation as we know. We've heard about the generosity of the Prophet ﷺ. In certain narrations, we hear how people said, once you come to the court of the Prophet ﷺ, you don't have to come back. Meaning he gives you so much, subhanAllah, it suffices you. And here, each of them, they were gifted hundreds of dirhams by the Prophet ﷺ. And an amount of silver, a great amount of silver as well. SubhanAllah. This was the court of the Prophet ﷺ. Another delegation, and this was a separate occasion, and this delegation was known as Waft Muzayna. The leader of this particular delegation was Sayyiduna Nu'man radiallahu ta'ala. He says, 
that 400 people from our tribe, they came to the court of the Prophet Sallallahu And when we were returning, 400 people came. When we were returning, the Prophet Sallallahu said, O oh, Umar, give some gifts to these people. They're returning to their homes. Give some gifts to these people. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an said, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I only have a few dates at home. I only have a few dates at home. Maybe this sheer number of people, 400 people, will not be happy, will not be content with just a few dates as a gift. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again said, Oh Umar, go and definitely give gifts to these people, acting upon this prophetic command. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an took those 400 people to his home for the dates that he mentioned. He mentioned he had a few dates at home. But when he reached home, subhanAllah, what did he see? Lo and behold, he saw, he saw that there was a mountain, a massive pile of dates. SubhanAllah, he assumed that he would go home and only find the same amount of dates as before, a small amount. What did he see? A large amount of dates. He said to the people, take as much as you like. 400 people, take as much as you wish. Sayyidina Nu'man bin Mukhrin, the leader of this tribe, the delegation of Muzayna, he says that I was the last of those 400 to go and collect the dates. And when I went, everybody had filled their sacks or whatever they had with dates. And I also took dates. But subhanAllah, I saw the dates were the exact number as in the beginning. Meaning there was no decrease in the dates. 400 people have gone and taken dates from that heap, that pile, but it has not reduced at all. SubhanAllah, this is from the signs of Nubuwa, the scholars of Islam have said. But here we learn about, again, giving gifts. The Prophet ﷺ said to Sayyidina Umar radiallahu and give gifts. SubhanAllah, at first he thought, what am I going to give? I've only got a few dates, but SubhanAllah, this was the sign of prophethood. That the Prophet ﷺ had ordered him. And he ﷺ, through knowledge granted by Allah, knew that there would be sufficient dates. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sent Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an to his home. When Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an reached his home, what did he see? Dates stacked till the ceiling. SubhanAllah, 400 people took as much as they could, but it did not reduce the number of dates. SubhanAllah. So giving gifts is a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. You heard about the fawai, this increases love, removes enmity. It's the way of the Prophet ﷺ. We should try and do this. Give gifts to your loved ones, your friends, family, relatives. SubhanAllah, inshallah, this will increase love between you. Do it for the sake of Allah. Allah will reward you immensely. Ameen. Bijahin Nabi Al-Ameen. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a sunnah to This is a sunnah to This is a sunnah to